This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Neil, it's good to talk to you. Good afternoon. What's going on? Hey, it's going great and good to hear you. You sound a lot better than you did on Friday, I can tell you that. And, uh, yeah. Boy, that stuff's running around a little bit, but it uh, seems people are bouncing back pretty good from it. Hopefully everybody is. But, uh, I was told in the last segment I'm like at 90% uh, back. One of the listeners can tell. It might be a little bit of clogging in the right nostril, but otherwise I'm uh, mostly okay. Um, Olympics have been uh, dominant across the sports landscape over the last uh, couple of weeks, and I'm imagining that's been... Pretty dominant on uh, the Bet Sarah's an app as well. But then it's like if you think about the difference between finishing gold and silver, oh, and say like the men's 100 meter, that's yeah. also the difference between winning and losing on Bet Sarah's in if you put money on it too. Well, I mean, look at the distances. I mean, look at that 100. I mean, they, uh, you know, they thought the Jamaican won it. And uh, because of the rules, you know, we've had a couple of uh, swimming uh, medals overturned too because of the the turn rules and you know even though the jamaican got his foot to the line it's when the torso goes across the line and thank goodness with technology today imagine if this would have been 30 years ago without all this high technology that we have to be able to do it um uh, but uh, it makes it really really exciting and and in the olympics yeah they we it has really kept us busy because of all of the different sports and all of the different menus and and all of the different options and the different types of sports Boy, it is, it's, it's been a challenge keeping that organized where people can find it. I think we've done a pretty good job, especially with putting things like, the, you know, the Team Sports Team USA on the first page where it's easy to find, uh, especially the basketball, the soccer, and, and, and some of the tennis. But it, it, it's, it's starting to wind down. The gymnastics is pretty much done and the swimming and, and uh, still got some of the uh, uh, team sports to, to wrap up. But uh and then we turn our attention to uh, football, football, and maybe more football. And don't forget about baseball. It's 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 going to be going until uh, October too. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of fun stuff coming up. Well, yeah, football, 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 of course. And yeah, the uh, college football fans right now digesting a lot of information about their teams and teams that they dislike and teams that they might be playing over the course of the season and everything. And a lot of it is for personal interest, but then a lot of it is also because, well, sports gambling is legal on uh, mobile websites in Arkansas, and it's a great opportunity for a lot of people, and so they gather as much in, gather as much information as they used to before, but now in some cases using it towards, uh, towards different purposes. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, especially with, you know, right now, you know, we do have the, the you know, the, the lines up for, for you know the the twenty fourth, you know we have those games up. The other games are start coming up uh, as we go. We've got a couple of the the, the key SEC matchup games already up on the site, and um, it's 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 not just a challenge for the sports better. It's, it's it's a big challenge for us, the bookmaker, because you know with the transfer portal and, and all the moving that goes around um, uh, in in the off season, it, you know it's it's almost like. Uh, you know, following the trade deadlines for the NFL and the draft, and 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 following the uh, the roster cuts and in the preseason with the NFL, uh, just just getting a, a line on, on on what the teams are going to look like. But everybody is optimistic now. I just want to warn everybody: college football twenty five. The way your team performs on there does not mean that's going to perform that way on the field. So don't 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 best don't. Uh, we've had a few people go. Well, you know, I've, I've done a su- couple of simulations on. On, on, on uh, college football 25, and I'm like, uh, you may want to uh, uh, not rely on that in, in, unless you're just using it as a coin flip. But, uh, but yeah, th- there's a lot of fun to be had, and there's a lot of great, um, a, a huge expansion of the future markets that we have this year, especially on NCAA football and, uh, and on NFL. But um, NCAA football, we're all about that around here, and uh, I'm just so glad that we're still able to offer these college props because they are so, so popular. Hey, give me a little window into some of the some of the futures bets that are that will be new uh, during the football season, both in terms of college and pro, if you're allowed to. Well, yeah, I mean, well, we've got a lot of them up. What we've done is is we've added, you know, instead of just regular season wins and regular season conference wins, we've got some markets up there with uh, specific teams with home wins. You know, just games that they play at home. 
you know, just taking in the home field advantage. Unfortunately, we don't have a market for Arkansas because, you know, two of their home games are, are, are technically neutral field sites, so they don't necessarily get to play at home, so we don't have a market up on them. And some of the other wonderful markets that we're getting a lot of accolades on are some head-to-head matchups between teams that are kind of evenly matched. And if you go under the uh, football and, and scroll down to the, to the football futures, you can see a lot of those, and there's a lot of interesting teams that match up, um, like um, um, Alabama versus Michigan. Which one are going to have the most season wins? Right now, Alabama's favored by minus 125. And, of course, is there, if there's a tie, it's just going to be a push. But you got Arizona versus Kansas. you got Colorado versus Florida. Um, you know, a lot of the evenly matched teams, um, regardless of the conference play, we've got those head-to-head matchups. And those are a lot of fun to do. Um, and, and it's a season-long bet that you, that you can hold on to and uh, possibly make some money on. Well, that's also the kind of bet that you can hold on to and – potentially uh use in bet swap um has that has the market in bet swap been what you expected it would be where where fans where uh where sports bettors can uh can sell a bet uh in in a couple of months well you know i thought we would have had more attention to it it's doing as far as the financial performance it's doing kind of mediocre and i think the reason is and 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 the challenge that the bet swap has is that um you know, Arkansas is only a state of 2.1 million adult population uh, of over 18 betting age. And, and, and part of the reasons why a lot of the states on online poker had to do a compact is, is to get enough players in the pool to make it worth their while uh, to where they could operate it. And I think, you know, the bet swap, it's challenging is, is that we don't have a, you know, we're not one of the larger states. We have a smaller pool of players uh, here, just, just, based on population. so And a lot of people are, are overpricing their bets. They're, they're listing bets on there where they're too high. So we're kind of evaluating that, and we may go in a little bit different direction from the bet swap. And, and, and one of the things that we're going to reveal with football season is a more robust cash-out product to where you can cash out not only um, games early, like you know if you've got six legs out of your parlay, We'll just go ahead and give you an offer uh, right up there, and you can decide whether or not that you want to keep it and want to take it. So, we're, that swap is still on for the right now. Right now, but uh, unless we see a big surge in that, we may change directions. And, and, and people are in the instant gratification of hitting that cash out button and getting those proceeds immediately in their account. And 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 we're all about giving the public what they want, and it seems to be that's what they're asking for. So we're probably going to change gears on that here pretty soon. And that is one thing that stands out, paying attention to the options on the app on a weekly basis and these conversations that we have, is that you, you really, you're listening to what your customers are telling you and, and doing something about that. And, you know, I think that's probably just like normal business in a lot of people's minds. Uh, but I also imagine that there's some businesses that don't necessarily go from that direction. But, I mean, you're... You, you, you you are serving a user in a very specific way, and that's by listening and then acting. Yeah, and it, you know that that's common sense. Um, you know, uh, the, you know the the big gambler that you know that everybody's been talking about lady, lately is Billy Walters. You know, he he's an infamous game uh, gambler, and and it is you know known as you know the biggest one of the biggest sports betting. And he recently said at the uh, legislative council, I mean, all the regulators brought him in. This is the guy that you know. It's been to jail over illegal book. I mean, over illegal bets. But his wealth of knowledge, his, his biggest complaint about the industry is, is there's a lot of people that are that are running these books that are all about the spreadsheets and and bean counting and 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 and, and all about the numbers. Where we have found our success is, and where our numbers have come is, has been taking care and listening to the players, and 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 you know it helps that the operator. 24 years ago may have dabbled in a little bit of sports gambling and, 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 and looks at it from the customer perspective. And, and, and a lot of us operators, you know, we're under um, immense pressures with the competitiveness of this market, the low margins that are involved to produce outputs. And, and, and a lot of times, you know, you know, some of the big operators have been in the news cause they're going to be passing on some surcharges over to some players. And, um, our goal is is to is to operate our book where the players 
are comfortable betting on it. It's transparent, and, and, and they know exactly what we're doing. And if the, we do something wrong, we want to hear from them. And if the regulations let us do it and, 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 and give them something that they want, it, it's just common sense to me. And, 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 and the numbers will, 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 will come, you know, with, with the people betting. I mean, um, Arkansas has, you know, been very, very insightful by, by giving us, you know, the, 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 you know, the Constitution gave the sports books to the casinos because that's all we do is we do gambling. And, and if we didn't listen to our customers and do our focus groups and get the feedback from them, we would just be putting out what some engineer thinks would be good, but may not be actually good once it's on the platform and in practice. And 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 it's really important to do that because you know that that's what sets us apart. You know, everybody can have a line on just about any game. It's just how you present that line and how you give it to the customer and their options, and that makes them choose one platform over the other. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.